Hey, this is Summer with Summerly Design Co. And today I'm going to show you how to knit a Latvian braid. These are really, really beautiful accents to a lot of different knitted pieces. You can put them on hats, mittens, sweaters, and of course socks. Um, they look a lot harder to make than they actually are. Um, so once you learn how to knit them, you're going to want to put them on everything. Um, it does require knowing the basics of color work. It's very, very simple. You're not gonna be doing anything super complex, um, but you do need to know a little bit about how to knit with two different strands of yarn at one time. But again, super easy. I'm gonna walk you through the whole process. Um, this particular Latvian braid is on one of my sock patterns. It looks like this, and I will put a link to that pattern in the description of this video video if you want to knit a sock that looks like this. But for the meantime, let's just kind of learn how to do this first part, the Latvian braid. All right, so I've got my cuff all knit up and ready to go, and I'm ready to start the braid. The Latvian braid is knit over three rounds. That's it. I mean, again, it's really, really simple. Oh gosh, I've got needles all tangled up. All right, there we go. So again, it's knit over three rounds. It's really, really simple. We're gonna start with round one, and that's our setup round. And that's where we're going to be bringing in our second color in order to knit the braid. So I'm gonna get that set up and get my needle set up, and we will be ready to go. All right, I'm knitting Magic Loop. Obviously, you can do this on tiny circulars or on double-pointed needles, whichever you prefer. And for the video, we are going to refer to my working yarn that I've got here, this kind of light gray color, as color A. And we're going to refer to the pink that I'm bringing in as color B. So for this first round, we're just going to be alternating color A and color B, knitting a stitch in color A, then knitting a stitch in color B. We're going to do that all the way around and that's basically the set so now we're going to join in color b and knit that and if you're new to color work there's a lot of different ways you can knit color work um you can just pick up the color you need and drop it and then pick up the next color that's certainly one way to do it um if that's kind of what you're comfortable with, or you can do it two-handed, which is how I typically knit color work. Um, so I'll do one more where we're just dropping and picking up. And of course, it's not going fast at all. This looks terrible because I'm on camera and of course I'm nervous, so I'm not knitting like I normally would. But this is how I typically knit color work. I keep my second color in my left hand and my main color in my right hand. And I pick the second color like that. And of course I say like that and then don't do it. <laughs> Again, it's stressful knitting on camera when you know people are gonna be watching. But anyways, this is what we're gonna do all the way around. And if you're not comfortable knitting color work two-handed, don't worry, you can just pick up and drop the color that you need. But you're just gonna alternate all the way around color A, then color B. You start with color A and then pull in color B and then just go like this all the way around. And this is our first round, our setup round. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish knitting this around and then I will be back to show you how to do round two when we actually start forming our braid. Okay, so now I've completed my first setup row, my round one of the Latvian braid. And all I've done is just simply knit one in color A and then knit one in color B all the way around. And now I'm back to where I started. I went ahead and started round two just so I could get more into the needle to show you round two. So this is basically what you're gonna do to start out. I've just gone ahead and done a few stitches so that I can get to a more comfortable place on the needle to show you round two. So you're gonna be purling on round two and you're gonna start out with color A. You will always purl your color A stitches with color A and you will always purl your color B stitches with, purl with color B. So we're just gonna purl that stitch. And again, this would be your first stitch on the needle. I just went ahead and started. Now, when we go to purl color B, we're gonna bring color B's yarn 
underneath curl, pearl, gosh, underneath color A and pearl color B. Okay, now we're ready to pearl color A again. And once again, we're gonna take color A and we're gonna bring it under color B. So that color B is kind of resting on top. And now we're at color B. We're gonna bring it under color A and we're gonna purl that color B stitch. And we're just gonna keep going like that all the way around. We're gonna bring our new color under the old one before we purl the stitch. Just keep going. Just kind of bring it under and purl the stitch. Now I'm at color A again, so I will bring color A under color B and I will purl the stitch. Now I'm at color B again, a color B stitch. So I will bring color B under color A and purl the stitch. We're at color A again. So I will bring the color A yarn under the color B yarn and purl the stitch. So you just keep going like that. You're just bringing your yarn, it's always in front, and you're just bringing it under the old color before you purl with the new color. And once again, color A stitches, you will always purl with color A. Color B stitches, you will always purl with color B. You're just bringing that yarn under the old yarn before you knit the next stitch. You just keep going like that around. Now, as you can see, my yarn is getting very twisted. Do not worry about that because it's going to automatically untwist on the third and final round. So it's gonna keep getting twisted as you go around, but don't worry, it will untwist on its own when you knit the next round. So don't bother trying to untwist it as you go, just let it twist. Um, and then when you knit the third and final round to finish off your braid, it will automatically untwist like magic. It's pretty awesome. As you can see though, we've got the start of our braid. By keeping our yarn in front and always taking the yarn that we're about to use and putting it under the yarn that we just used, that's how we create this lovely little twist to form a braid. And so I'm gonna do that a few more times and then I will finish it off and come back and show you how to do the third and final round. Okay, I have now finished round two of my Latvian braid. Um, I've gone all the way around, finished the round, and now I'm ready to start the final and third round. And as you can see on the previous round, we've already got a nice little twist here to start forming our braid. And that was made because we put our colors under our previous colors whenever we went to purl the next stitch. I've already gone a few stitches in on the third and final round so I can get to a more comfortable position to show you, but of course you will be starting out at the first stitch in the round. As you can see, my yarn is very twisted, but it's about to untwist when we do this next setup. Okay, so on our previous round, we would bring the color that we needed under the old color before purling. This round, we're going to be bringing it over. So we're just kind of doing the same thing, but opposite. So instead of going under the red, I'm going over the red. And it's the same thing. Now onto the next color. I will bring this over the white. Now I'm ready to purl the white again, and I will bring that white yarn over the red. Or I guess it's like pink, but you know. And we'll keep going. Here's color B. Purling with color B yarn over our old color A yarn. And you'll just keep doing that. And not only does that finish off your braid, it also magically untwist your yarn for you. So you don't have to do that. So once again, round two, we would bring the color that we needed under the old color. And for round three, the final round, we bring the color that we need, the yarn that we need, over the old color. So round two is under, round three is over, and our yarn gets untwisted, and we get a beautiful Latvian braid. 
do a few more here. Once again, going over the old yarn and over the old yarn and voila, beautiful. As you can see, we've got a lovely Latvian braid and that's it. That's all there is to it to getting this cute little braid. You can put it on anything. I mean, it would look so cute on sweaters, mittens, hats, but especially, I think, socks. So I will post a link to this pattern in the description of this video. If this was helpful, I do appreciate a thumbs up. Um, I will also post links to um, my Instagram if you wanna follow me on there, as well as my Ravelry and my Etsy and my blog where I post a lot of tips, tricks, tutorials, free patterns, and just all kinds of stuff. So thanks for watching today and I'll see you next time.